Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos on the regulating substance chapter. What I'll do in this video is I'll cover this question, which comes from the regulating substance chapter. In a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question. And when you're ready, press play, and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So I read the question. It says, this table shows the results of the analysis of urine samples of three organisms. We've got the organisms here, so terrestrial mammal, freshwater fish, and marine fish, and urine concentration and the form of nitrogenous waste on here. Now, the terrestrial mammals produce concentrated urine, and their form of nitrogenous waste is urea. Freshwater produce dilute urine, and their form is ammonia. Marine fish produce concentrated urine, and their form is urea. The question is, using the information from the table, explain the difference in urine concentrations of these three organisms. And that's worth three marks. So when you're ready, press pause and attempt a question, and then press play when you're ready. Welcome back. So this kind of question, you should first read the actual question again. So using the information from the table, explain the difference in urine concentration. This is also important. Obviously, you have to explain all three organisms. Um, so in this case, you have to explain why it's different, but it says to focus on the urine concentration. So you can also include the nitrogenous waste. The actual question is asking you to talk about the urine concentration. So what you have to do is you have to first think about what kind of environment, so the environment they all live in. And then once you've figured out what environment they live in, you got to think about why they, what their adaption is, so why would they produce these different concentrations of urine. So for each of your answers for both the terrestrial mammal, freshwater and fish and marine fish, think about the environment and then think about why they produce the concentrated urine or the dilute urine. So for the first one, I wrote terrestrial mammals live in a dry environment, so their environment was dry. So because they live in a dry environment, they have to conserve water in order to survive. So that was the whole environment they live in. And then the second part, so what adaption have to help them with this? They produce concentrated urine. When the water supply is low, as there's less water loss in air with concentrated urine. So this is the reason why they produce concentrated urine, because they produce less water loss. They have less water loss with concentrated urine, and it's good because they have to conserve water. So this is obviously if the water supply is low, and with mammals, because humans are mammals, if we have too much water, we do produce dilute urine. But in a dry environment, if we're dehydrated, we produce concentrated urine. So that's the first part. That gets you one mark. So both these answers gets you one mark. It's one out of three. Now for the second part, I'm talking, I'm talking about freshwater fish. Same procedure. First, think about the environment. So what I wrote is the freshwater fish have a higher internal soil concentration when compared to their external environment. So they live in freshwater and fresh water has low salt levels compared to their body. And the reason why they produce dilute urine, so water enters the body through osmosis, and they have to produce dilute urine to get rid of that excess water and prevent overhydration. So in this case, they produce dilute urine because otherwise they would have a body which becomes too big and they would burst because water moves from low solute concentration to high solute concentration, so it move, would move inside the body. And if they produce dilute urine, they get rid of that excess urine, uh, excess water. So that was, again, one mark for this kind of, because we've gone over the environment they live in and relates that to their adaption. At last, we go over the marine fish. So same procedure, first talk about the environment they live in. So marine fish live in an environment that is more salty in their internal environment. So their external environment is more salty than their internal environment. So that's basically the opposite of the freshwater fish. And then you still have to talk about what, what adaption helps them to cope with this kind of environment. So water will flow out of their body for osmosis. So this has happened. So that this is dehydration. Because of osmosis, again, low concentration to high concentration. Low concentration inside their body, high concentration outside their body. So water will flow from low to high. So water will flow from inside the body to outside, so this will dehydrate them. So they produce concentrated urine to conserve water. 
and prevent further dehydration. And this gets your mark as well. So three marks out of three. If you've compared the environment to live in and related to the environments to live in to the concentration, the urine concentration they produce. Now, where does this question come from? It comes from this dot point. So students will analyze information from secondary sources to compare and explain. So compare, we just compared the different fish and we had to explain the difference in urine concentration of terrestrial mammals, marine fish and freshwater fish. So exactly what we just done just now. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for watching.